Hi there, Sagittarius. Welcome back to Star Lordess Tarot. This is going to be your weekly tarot forecast for the week of December 3rd through the 9th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Sagittarius. First up, you have the Magician in the upright position, followed then by the Six of Pentacles reversed. And next we have Major Arcana, the Wheel of Fortune upright. And then we have Major Arcana, the Lovers, in the upright. And lastly, we have the Two of Cups upright. Nice reading here, Saggies. Okay, first of all, for your overall energy, you have the Magician in the upright position. I like this energy when he's in the upright. This is the Manifester. This is when we... Uh, we all possess the ability to manifest what we want. We all have the tools inside of us, but sometimes we just can't get there <laughs> because uh, sometimes energies are just stuck or we're stuck in a funky little place. But when the magician comes up in the upright, we're actually on target when it comes to our manifestation. We have all the skills, we know how to use them, and we are using them. So in uh, for this week for your overall energy that is beautiful energy you are manifesting something sagittarius and it's going to be different for all of you remember it's just a general read but some of you saggies out there are manifesting something now let's see what you're manifesting at the beginning of the week coming right in to uh, this you have the energies of the six of pentacles in reverse okay uh, this is coming right off the hop. You uh, you come in maybe from last week or something. Something could have gone out of balance. When the card is in the upright position, this represents reciprocity, uh, things being in balance and um, equal work for equal pay kind of thing. Uh, harmony and uh, the yes card if we're looking for uh, backing or uh, anything to do with our security. When it's in the reverse, however, there could be something has gone out of balance for you guys coming into the week. And maybe that's why you start manifesting. Maybe something uh, went off off balance here in terms of um, a work situation. Maybe it's playing out in a work situation for some of you. Maybe you're just working too much and you don't feel you're being compensated enough. For others of you, it could be a lack of give and take in... Uh, some kind of situation in terms of maybe you uh, were applying for something and you know you were turned down or perhaps somebody asked you for a loan and you weren't able to do it or you didn't want to do it or you could vice versa right it's just the energies of something being out of balance and uh, not being fair so that's the beginning of the week that's how you come in but things change and change drastically as the week goes on because the next card you have, it's paired with the um, Wheel of Fortune in the upright position. Now, this is when the wheel is turning with us because we're moving in the direction that we need to move in to find sort of like the sweet spot. We're finding that, that groove. And it's no doubt because you have the magician here. So you're manifesting something. I think whatever's going on here with the Six of Pentacles might have been just sort of like a hangover from the week before. Maybe something went out of balance. And that's when you guys decided to use the skills that you have in order to manifest what you wanted. And in doing so, you, you know, turn things around because this is the card of good fortune it can yes sometimes represent uh, good luck and just kind of dumb luck where we just happen to be at the right place at the right time or maybe buy a scratch ticket and win a couple bucks either way it's really good energy you're in the pocket you're in the groove and you're moving with the energies as opposed to against the energies of the universe so very very nice so far like having these two energies the magician and the wheel of fortune together very very fortunate very beautiful energy now moving on towards the weekend you have the energies of the lovers in the upright position now this is um 
uh, need to make a choice. Sometimes, yes, it's a choice between uh, staying single and getting involved in a partnership. Maybe some of you guys are actually thinking about that. Could be um, just representing a partnership in general. It doesn't have to be romantic. It could be that uh, business deal has come your way and maybe somebody's asking you to go into business with them and you're thinking about it. And so there's a need to make a choice or a decision about that. <coughs> and for some of you, it could be uh, making a decision between two people. Maybe you're, you've been dating two people and now it's come down to crunch time, choice time. And there's a need to make a choice and it's paired with the two of cups in the upright position. Now this is really nice. When you have the lovers and the two of cups together, it generally does speak of a love relationship or a relationship that's really, really nice. Well, this, the two of cups is when we're seeing eye to eye with somebody that one particular person, it's one particular relationship where we're really clicking. Now that could be playing out in a partnership definitely uh, in terms of uh, work situation, um, but it can also definitely play out in terms of romance this could be representing um you may have found uh, like your other half kind of thing so to speak you may have found somebody that you really really uh have so much in common with have a lot going on with and you've just really like really fallen for the person it could be definitely that's what's going on when you have those two cards paired together so it looks like going towards the weekend of the ninth you guys might need to be making a decision on a romantic level, and I think uh, I think it's going to be good. <laughs> we'll have to wait till next week to find out what your decision was and what's happening here. But you're manifesting maybe this relationship. You're manifesting some good stuff here, Sagittarius. So what a great week for you guys. And for any of you having a birthday this week, happy birthday to you guys. I hope you have a fantastic week. And if this reading did resonate for you, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Put a comment down below. Um, otherwise, I will see you next week. Have a good one, Sagittarius. Bye for now.